What up, it's your girl Minna, and today I'm gonna be, well, not trying out, because I've already used it one time, but I haven't used it on YouTube, so it's gonna be the Naked Urban Decay Ultraviolet Palette. This palette is so gorgeous. I've done one look, it's really cute, and I was like, dang, why didn't I do a first impressions on YouTube? It's fine, here we are. So if you are excited, I want you to like the video. I want you to give this video a thumbs up, and also make sure you are subscribed. Since the video is all about the eyeshadow palette, I am going to do my face. I'll let you see it. I'm gonna speed that up, and if you want a slow down version of my face, if people call it the base routine, then make sure that you watch my other videos. I think she made me at the college. Her friends play my songs and they've been following me. Yeah, I don't like to do that much explain in a talk. And now in my crease, we need a transition color. I'm gonna use this Tartius Pro Tarte Palette, Amazonian Clay Palette, that's the name. And then the color I'm gonna use is called Wispy. So Wispy right here is a transition color. Transition colors are always, always important. This is just my technique. Oh, I forgot to set my brow bone. But I did use e.l.f., the e.l.f. concealer, and that one is, it dries pretty fast and it dries matte, so. When I blend this into my crease, I use this fluffy brush because I actually want it to spread. I don't want it to just be in one tight area, hence why I'm also like bringing it up into this area. This is all gonna be blended once I put my powder on my face, so don't be alarmed. Very, very important, okay? Just back and forth motions. I'm literally winging this right now. I really don't even know what direction I wanna go in, but I do know that my crease, I just prefer when my crease is really deep and just, it just ties the look together. People do their eyes, differently. I believe that the crease needs to be transitioned. You don't just jump in with like some frosty the snowman who knows what kind of color and there's purples and blues in here that I'm going to stick with. So in my crease in this same Tartius Pro Amazon clone Amazonian you heard what I said last time palette I'm going to take Drama which is a dark purple because there isn't a dark purple matte in that palette so let's just get this identified here and we're, I'm going to use that palette on my actual lid. So if you think about it this is whimsy again just to transition this. If you think about it I'm using using this as a as a companion palette to the Urban Decay one. So that Urban Decay palette for my skin tone, I cannot use from beginning to end. There's gotta be a companion simply because of the transition colors, which none exist in there for me. The crease colors, there's no crease color in there that I can use. All right, now I'm gonna use my fingers to apply these colors and I'm gonna look down because the last time that I used this, I recall some kind of fallout. This is the color Purple Dust. Now, I normally don't put shimmers in my crease, but this palette is full of shimmers. So here we are, All right here. In the front, see how I like isolated the eye, stretched it out a little bit, and then I'm placing it right there, right in there. I'm gonna bring this up some more. Wow, this is beautiful. Whoa, wow. Talk about pigment. This color could really go all over the lid. All right, to bring this crease together even more so, I really have to add more purple and there isn't, again, like I said, a, an appropriate transition color. So with drama again, I actually need to mix mod with the drama because I need the purple to be lighter. Blue and purple complement each other. So that is why I'm choosing this purple color to put in the crease. It looks pretty dark because of drama. So I'm taking some more of mod to lighten this purple up. Could have taken a different color entirely, but here we are. Just to deepen that a little bit. And then I just smudged that blue shimmer color. What's it called again? Euphoric. No, that's not. Purple dust. Purple dust. <laughs> like what? That's not what it's called. Take some more of mod. I want this to be a little brighter. I'm going to apply the color that's going to go right in the middle of my eye. And I want that to pop. I like this color Lucid so much. When I used this the first time, Lucid is so pretty in the tear duct. So I'm going to save that to put it there. That leaves warning. Okay. So here we go with warning. Girl, that is the color Lucid that I was telling you about. Look at that. Now that I see it, I wish I would have put it on my lid. Like I'm going to use the palette again and again. And I'm going to put the color on my lid. This palette is full of shimmers. I'll leave my final thoughts to the end, but lots of options for combinations for show. Sure. All right, these lashes are oldies. I've had these on. I've been using these for a minute. Straight from AliExpress. You can find some similar ones on the Amazon. Link is below. The number on the box is D22. I don't know how helpful or unhelpful that is, but that's the truth. Okay, so to bronze my face, I'm going to use Morphe Leader. I thought that leader was too light for me, but I tried it on the other day and I was like, 
Oh, I see. I see the bronze. It's subtle because it's so light, but it's definitely there. Like I can see that. Now this is the first time that I used that foundation because I got a darker color. That color is Java because I have truffle. No, truffle was the first one I have. I have deep bronze and I thought, I feel like deep bronze is too light for me. So I got Java, but I feel like Java is too dark. As I was working it together, I thought I was bringing it, like making it work. When I first put it on, you, I know you saw it was like, whoa, mad dark. And that's fine because I highlighted, but I still feel like it's too dark or perhaps it's the undertone. That was neutral. Maybe it's the undertone. I don't know. Something about it is just not working out for me. This is the foundation I'm talking about. But, you know, we managed to bring this together. I am going to do bottom mascara, but I do leave that for the end. So to highlight, this is going to be the CoverGirl Super Sun A True Blend. I love this, man. This color is so good. Pearl Crush. And it's a very silvery gold. More silver. And I like that it contrasts the eye. I don't always want a gold highlight. I like like a silvery gold. There's a little bit of gold in here, but not a lot. More silver. Just looks really, really pretty. All right, so for blush, I'm gonna use Menti Cosmetics. Clay too much and then Peach for the Stars. I like to layer these, okay? If you have my skin tone, Peach for the Stars by itself is not gonna work. Definitely wanna do the layer, but if you're a lot lighter than me, Peach for the Stars by itself is so gorge. And you can use my code at the bottom for a discount if you'd like. Now I'm gonna put Peach for the Stars and focus that right here in the front. Look at that. Oh yes. A little frost see the snowman situation but focused on the apples of the cheeks the lip we're gonna get a little oh let me do my bottom mascara hold on <laughs> Alrighty, and now for the lips so maybelline's got these awesome coffee scented lips out and these are added to the original matte ink line love these so freaking much this is the color cocoa i'm gonna go buy the rest of them because they're just that awesome i'm gonna put chai on the inside do I have lipstick on my teeth? Oh my God. No, 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 no. Make sure that is cleaned up so that it doesn't touch my teeth. The thing about these super matte inks is that they don't dry down powdery. They don't dry down completely dry. They dry down in a satin fashion. So if you look at my lips, there's a little bit of a shine to it. That's what makes it satin. I don't want to put a gloss on top. I don't really, I think it'll mess it up. I could have went a lot more nude with the lip, meaning the outer part that looks like a lip liner, I could have gone with something darker, not so caramel-y or like red. It's kind of like a red, I don't even know. Like the outside doesn't even look like that. And then you put it on, it's like, oh, kind of caramel. I could have gone with that. I like how this looks. I like this lip as an ombre, nude, brown girl friendly mix. I know it might look like it's a bold and a bold, but I like it. So when it comes to my thoughts on the palette, absolutely love it. The packaging is gorgeous. I've recently, only recently gotten my hands on the Urban Decay Naked palettes. This was sent to me, not sponsored, but NPR. And I do like this palette a lot. There are a lot of options for lid colors though, not for crease colors. So this is the kind of palette I would call a companion palette. You're gonna need something else to grab to be able to put colors in your crease. As you saw, I did with the Tarte palette. You can use any palette, but you do need crease colors. Now, it is very unusual for you to see me use shimmers in my crease. And when I say that, I'm referring to right here and right here because I did a halo. This is in my crease in a sense because I never put shimmers back here. Like, uh, that's like a what, you know? But <laughs> because I liked the color and I wanted to use as many Urban Decay colors as I could, I had to do that. So it's very unusual that you'll see shimmer in the corner of my crease in this fashion. I think it is working for this look. When I think about this part of the palette, this section is more neutral, obviously. So I may use these colors at a different time, but I really wanted to play with the brighter colors because they just pop on brown skin. Like, like, hello, are we not popping? Are we not popping, you know? So like I said, this palette is not a it's not a full start to finish eyeshadow palette, not for my skin tone. And if you're my skin tone, then that's for you as well. But it is a great palette for good options to put on your eyelid. The pigmentation is awesome. There's a little fallout on the shimmers, but that's just what it is, it's natural. They don't feel dry, they feel kind of moist, but in a good way, and I like them. I hope you enjoy the new products that I use. Let me know if you have the new palette. Let me know if you plan on buying the new palette. Do you like it? Do you like this eye? I look how are you liking the lippy comment below and let me know i'm glad you watched make sure you subscribe make sure you give the video a thumbs up and thanks for watching bye